But the brain brings water and life, like this bullfrog, African bullfrog. Not nearly as active. <laughs> Juma lover wants to know how do you sex a frog? A Juma lover, in the case of the bullfrogs, you will look at size. The males are substantially larger than the females, and they do have a much more of a stocky build. These frogs are in the genus Pixicephalus, and uh, the cephalus refers to head, and the pixie refers to round, or like a box, like a box head, like a roundish box head, referring to that blunt face of it, like a square box. African bullfrog. Now soon there is going to be thousands of them and when one female can lay up to three four thousand eggs during will will basically will be around <laughs> yeah, that's the beautiful thing of it all is we, the rain brings all these little creatures around. Yeah, at the moment, there's only one. Uh, he just points it out. I mean, yesterday morning, it was a lot more yesterday. Oliver wants to know, he's got a question for us, what are the Sort of physical differences between some of these frogs. Um, it is. Uh, we're talking about 30 species of frogs, yeah, um, and each of them are vastly different. And there's just too many differences to name. And, and I'll have to have two frogs together to compare them. It it it's a tricky one to answer. To be totally honest, the bullfrogs are very big, stocky frogs. You know, they've got powerful legs, they've got those big round, elevated round eyes. You know, then a painted reed frog is vastly different, S smaller, it's got a lot of color. Then the toads are different, you know, so it is, it's, it's the same as birds, really. It, it, you'll have to have a species account in order to distinguish one from the other in terms of everything, from appearance to physical as well.